in our last video, I did some thrifting along with talking a little trash. Okay, I pulled over for a second because I just remembered as we were going over to the thrift store, I saw some junk on the side of the road that I think I'm gonna look at. Looks like we are going dumpster diving. During that trip to the thrift, we spent $20, leaving us with $215 that we have left for the rest of the month of April to find items to flip for a profit. Lots of furniture. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's sold though. How precious is this? $70. Somebody got a good deal with that. And that's pretty. $5. What is that? It doesn't look like brass. I mean, it looks like brass, but I don't think it's brass. Say what? That's pretty though. $5. All right. All the times people were looking for KN95 mask. Here they are at the thrift store. I hate you, 2020! All right, I've made my way to the linens. You can see they have quite a few over here. They do try to keep it pretty organized, but you know, as customers go through things, no one ever puts stuff back where they're supposed to. But I did find a blanket here. Very, very beautiful, 100% wool. And I'm looking at this. I think it's a duvet cover, but I cannot figure for the life of me the size. So I need to open it up just to see who made it too. It might be something that is custom made but it is a duvet cover and it's really pretty. All right, I'm not seeing a tag anywhere on this, so I am a little unsure and it's extremely heavy, so the weight may kill the deal for shipping, but it is beautiful. Fucking chairs are really nice, but not really priced where I could make some money off of them. Um, you know, 25, 35. Now if I get hundreds of dollars, yeah, I would take it home, but Mm, not really sure. All right, this is unusual. How you open? How do you push? How open sesame. Pretty please with sugar on top. All right, how do you, how does this open? Is there like a, oh my gosh. Do you do it like the Fonz did? Nope, that don't work either. I am not finding anything else down here except for this beautiful oil blanket. I think we'll just mosey on upstairs and see what kind of knickknacks and clothing and artwork they have that we can flip for a profit. It is pretty quiet here today. It is a Monday. I have mentioned this many, many times. I don't like going to the thrift stores on the weekend. I don't like people that much. I love going during the week. Unless they're having like a fantastic sale on the weekend, then I will go. But other than that, I love thrifting during the week. So it looks like they did a little rearranging with their purses. They had them like all down the uh, side of the wall in containers, but they're making it look like a little boutique area. It's really, really cute. And it's nice that you don't have to bend down into all those containers either. We are in the boutique section. Over here is where I saw the tiara in a previous video. I don't see it, you guys. Someone stole our tiara. All right, I didn't find any clothing, no yeah. shoes. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, his ear is broken, and I do think they're bookends. And there's only one, but how gorgeous would that have been if that would have been broken? And there would have been two, it'd been even better. All right, it's a little uh, tight quarters in here. Let's hope, hopefully get through without breaking anything. Oh shoot, I'm stuck. Hi, Editor Sherry here. And as I was uh, editing the video, um, part of this little trip to the thrift, all I could hear was, 
I don't know what was going on with the microphone. I'm sure it was user error. So for some of this video, you're going to get voiceover Sherry as we go through the thrift store together. So I'm going through all of this stuff and finding a lot of broken stuff. Pick up this box. It's a, it's a nice box. It's, it's broken. Find a lot of broken items on this day. It, it's pretty, but Sherry went about to fix it. And this little lamp. I thought it was so precious. I contemplated bringing it home, fixing it. It was just a little bit too wobbly, you know, for, for my comfort to kind of fix it. Of course, looking back now, maybe I should have. Who knows, maybe if it's there next time, we'll pick it up. And I'm just perusing through all the lamps. I love looking at lamps. Don't like shipping them, but I like, I like looking at them. And I saw this artwork. Now it's kind of a coastal look to it. It looked a little cheap, so I left it. And this box, you know, they, they tried to fool me that, and thinking this was a real antique box. It came from Home Goods. It came from Home Goods, and after a while of looking at stuff, you kind of know where things come from without even looking at the sticker. These plates, who remembers all these plates? Was it back in the 80s or 90s? People would have these on their wall, and they would collect them. What was it, Franklin Mint? You know, they had the commercials and in the back of magazines. They're really not worth anything. There were some tags with these. I think they were like $22 a piece originally. Most of the time you can pick these up for a dime a dozen, but don't, don't pick them up, don't pick them up. And right about here, I'm rambling on and on about you know, the prices. The prices aren't bad, but I've been going to a lot of thrift stores where they're having 25% off, 50% off, 75% off, and you know, we don't have a lot of cha-ching to spend every month on reselling, and I'm just rambling about that, and it goes on for a minute. Whenever I see stuff that has college whatever on it, especially if it's hand-painted, I always look it up. This, it, it, it was cute, but it really wasn't going for much. I think maybe nine or ten dollars, and I can't make out the sticker. What does that say? A dollar or two dollars, something like that? Yeah, I didn't get it. And then I'm looking at some hobbyist pieces. This is cute. Um, I believe there's an initials. Yeah, MP. Don't know who MP is. It's pretty though, but yeah, I, I didn't get it either. And I saw this, and I I will, I will say that I will give it an A for effort. You ugly. As I'm heading up to the cash register, I realized I didn't go through some of the men's clothing. And you know me, I like to touch everything. So I felt these khakis, they felt very high quality. And I realized they are from Duluth Trading. Now the name of these is Flex Ballroom Khakis. And I'm thinking ballroom, you're dancing. If you're dancing, you're moving a lot. I guess these can kind of move with you. I, I don't know why they would call it ballroom khakis. I just, I'm ball. I get it. Yeah, it, it just, it just dawned on me. So maybe it just dawned on you too. If so, you're my people. Just between us, she's a little slow. I attempted to share this haul while I was in the thrift store because I only found a few items and it ended up sounding like this. I, I couldn't make out what I was saying either. So I'm going to do a reenactment of what I said in the store. I found this belt. It's made in India. When I looked it up, I think it's from New York and Company. I don't know what this is that it's made out of. There are a few chips here and there, but I still think it was worth picking up. And the belts, I believe the belts were only 49 cents, and I'm thinking maybe I can get 15 out of it. I also found this little place that you hang up. They are from Denmark. There's four of them here, and they're only $2 for all four. And when I'm looking these up, it looks like if I sell the two of these together maybe about 20 25 and the two of these together maybe 20. this next thing is from madam alexander and i didn't find these in the toy section they were in the knickknack section i have no idea why but there are some new accessories in here that go with the madam alexander dolls and then there were some loose pieces inside of it and when i'm looking these up these are going for some pretty good money i knew the name i didn't really research a lot of it and i thought okay we'll go ahead and pick these up for two dollars and i'm thinking that maybe all together 
other. I may get around, who knows, $35, maybe $50 because the Madame Alexander little, you know, clothing and accessories are not cheap. And this was the first thing we picked up, this beautiful wool blanket. I did no research on it whatsoever when I was in the store and it is from the brand Johnston's of Elgin, the Hebridean rug, which it is a blanket. I don't think you'd really put this on the floor. That's just what it's called. But as I'm looking these up, they're going anywhere between 50 and $300. Now, I don't know if this one is that expensive, but it is absolutely gorgeous. The beautiful pastels. I see nothing wrong with it. It was only $2. We started off this trip to the thrift with $215. We spent $10 and some change. So we're gonna round it up to 11, just to make the math a little easier. I don't like math. Leaving us with $204 that we have have left for the rest of the month of April to find items to flip for a profit. If you're new to my channel and you want to catch up on my Starting From Zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. I am trying to save $4,000 through finding items to flip for a profit so I can start on the renovations in my kitchen. And we're going to start off with the flooring just as soon as we get $4,000. This is taking forever. Or if you just enjoy watching thrifting videos in general, I'll leave a playlist right here I think you might like. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.